Hello friends, welcome to Healthcare Today. Today we will talk about those patients who had spine TB or who are having spine TB but unfortunately the lower part of their body that is legs, genital organs, bowel region, bladder region is not working anymore. We will go into the reasons why it happens. As we all know spine TB is simply an infection caused by tuberculosis bacteria but the paralysis or non-functioning of the lower part of the body never happens because of the infection. Yes, that's absolutely correct. It happens because the spine TB bacteria has damaged the bones and the discs of the spine and because of the damage they get converted into small pieces which compress the nerves which are lying just beside them and because of the compression of the nerves they stop functioning and these are the nerves which travel from brain to the to all the parts of the body and make them functional. So when they are compressed they are not able to function properly and hence the lower part of the body stops functioning. This is also known as paraplegia in medical terms. As we all know the spine DB bacteria can be managed very well with the medicines itself. However, if the patient is having paralysis or the paraplegia in that case the problem is not with the bacteria itself only. The problem is that the small parts of the bone or the discs are damaging or are compressing the nerves. In these cases it is highly recommended to get the compression of the nerve resolved which can be done with the help of an endoscope, a small camera that goes inside, pick up those bones and pieces and release the nerves. This can have wonderful results simply because the nerves are not damaged. So in a very simple terms, if you are a patient of spine TB, has been paralyzed but you do not need to, need to lose the hope. Why? Because your nerves are probably still intact and if they are given enough space to work around, if we take away the compression, they probably will start working again and you will have a normal handicap free life walking again doing all your activities. So friends, do remember that the spine TB infection damages the bones and the discs which can further damage the nerves. Spine TB infection itself never damages the nerves and even if you are paralyzed because of spine TB, you do not need to lose the hope. Pick up your phone, contact us on the below given numbers send your medical reports and we will be very happy to take you towards the right treatment.